Hello, it's Crow99, and today I'm going to be playing a bit of Seven Days to Die. I've had this game for several months now, but I haven't done any recording with it. It is basically a sandbox game. I haven't played this in a few weeks either. So... There's been a lot of updates. It's still in um, development though. Not sure if it's big yet. So, uh, uh, I'll go with this because I'm mostly going to try, at least with this first series, to sell off the game, and I believe I can change that later on. This just takes a few minutes. There's a lot of modularity to all this. Airdrops are new, actually. I, I don't remember that. Like I said, I haven't played this in a good long while. Cheat mode. I don't know what cheat mode is. I'm gonna see what's bad. Uh, start. So, a bit about this. It is a sandbox game. It's voxel, which means that it's all blocks, and you collect resources and build stuff, but it's a lot more difficult than a lot of games I normally play, and there's the zombies that come out at night, unlike Minecraft zombies, there are a lot of other zombies that can actually break through blocks, so you need to make strong, strong materials like cement and stuff, you can't just pillar up, and I'm not very good at the game, so just know that before you think of anything, and I haven't played it in a while. So, I know that there's this new mechanic with iron or metal. Before, you could just craft scrap metal, which you find by breaking metal things in the world. But ingots, that is now gone. You now need to smelt them. Which I do not know how to do. So I may die a few times. These first few nights. I may go back and change the settings if I find it's too bad. But it should be okay. Gonna pause this while it loads. All right. So here we are. Oh, I believe I started off with things. That normally doesn't happen. Well, it probably does normally happen. I just haven't played them forever. So, oh, bit of lag here. That's kind of worrying. I didn't change my settings. I think it's okay right now, but I should consider turning down graphics. Oh, that's new. Oh, there's a zombie over there. I'm not prepared to fight. Let's just take a look around. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. I have not played this in so long. So as you can see, there's stuff like these cars and other things from society just scattered around. And there's also stuff like this, which you can punch and collect the resources. Is there anything around me? Oh, there's a corpse. There's gonna be something just right behind me, I know it. I don't know how far they where they can see me from. Yes. 
So the sticks you can craft stuff out of. Yucca. I believe you can make like yucca juice and stuff out of that. Oh. This is wood. That's a basis for a lot. Oh. It's a bit finicky the hole. Pick up. Oh gosh. Is there one behind me or something? I think that that sounds to me that they're like um, locked onto you or something. Is that below? Oh snap. Running. I'm so bad at this game. I may have just dropped some. I try to stay in the road. Hopefully I can find a gun or something in one of these cars. Hear that screeching? It means they see me. Oh, come on. The good news is I can walk faster. Nothing. Eventually you can make stuff like pickaxes and shovels in order to, uh, Um, break through blocks and go mining. When you go mining, there's stuff like iron and lead. You can make new bullets, you can make explosives. It's pretty cool mechanics. Come on. It's a bit um, slow to respond, I assume, because of the recording. That normally slows it down. Oh, I see a house. There's normally more zombies near houses, they spawn near houses. Oh, look how far away it is. That's good. Oh, there's more storage stuff over there. I see some that over to my right. Oh. Okay. This lag is scaring me. It's going to happen at a bad time. Turn down all my settings. I don't even know how to do that. It's been forever since I've played. This is not a tutorial in any way, by the way. I barely know of new mechanics to the game. Or oh, rather, you can kill those, by the way. And eat them. There's a lot of different food sources. He either lost interest in me or is really slow. Oh, look, a church over there to the right. Oh, there's a crawler. There's a lot of crawlers. Please be a gun, please be a gun, or a knife or something. Do you see those over in the... there? Gardening house. That is the... closest... thing to a weapon I have gotten yet. I feel I should keep that there. Can't be any worse than a fist. Look at them all. Oh. It's gonna go bad if I go forward. See those dots on the screen, the yellow ones? On the lower left? I can't do this. I will die. I believe that if it's red, it means that they see you and are coming for you. Look at all of them behind me. <laughs> Look at the minimap from the lower left. This video is about to end. 10 minute limit. I've decided that it is suicide to go towards that uh, 
group of houses over there, and I'm better off doing pretty much anything else. Can I pick up these big rocks, or do I need to pick? I think I need to pick. It does have a very Minecrafty feel, the fact that, um, for one, you punch stuff to get resources, to, to crafting and survival game. Like, I'm punching this to get sticks, and then the sticks we can use make stuff like ladders and handles for tools. You can also punch down trees, actually, and get wood. There's a deer, you can hunt those. I'm gonna pick up these little rocks here, and craft these into a uh, stone to make walls. to the upper left, it is day 1, 11.19 a.m. I assume what's that leather? it's really nothing oh, there's one over there oh no, there's more, than there's a zombie dog no, there's a zombie dog, you can't outrun zombie dogs are fast I see cars, I'll go for those hopefully There'll be something in one of them. Oh no, those are rocks. They're just rocks. It's desert, the mirage. Oh, no, 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 it is a car. And a backpack. Gunpowder, that's an interesting thing to leave in your backpack. You know, who am I to judge? Don't see. Oh no, I do see a dot. There on the hill. Zombie. He's really close to me. So that way, the town with all the crawling zombies, or behind me, to the area with all the walking zombies. No oh, bullets. That would be really useful if I had a gun. This is weird. Normally I do pretty good on the first day if I'm guns and stuff. This is like an abnormally bad first day. Maybe because the loot, I, it was 150 default, and I figured I must have turned it up at some point, but that was probably just the actual default for new players, which I kind of am. I haven't played this updated version forever. Well, not even forever, in a while. I see a deer. There's nothing here, is there? Let's probably get a move on. Anyway, um, worst that could happen. I can't find a safe shelter. There's zombies there. There's a good number of zombies there. Oh no, there's a lot of zombies there. Um, worse that could happen. I'll just end up building myself a little hut out here in the desert. Look at all the green dots. Why do that be green? Green to be like rabbits and deer, but no, no zombies. So yeah, worst case I could. I guess, build myself a base out here. And it wouldn't be able to stand up if any zombies... No. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. That's a zombie dog, by the way. 
They are really fast, and you can't outrun them. No, 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 why are they summer? Run, 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 run. Oh, on the lower left, alongside the mini-map, you also see a hunger bar, water bar, heart, and stamina. I believe there's a way to sprint. I forget what it is, though. Well, anyway, we can the green dots. That is a nest. 